Hello, I'm Eliana, and I'm going to present to you my last layout as Like Forever's guest designer last month. And this one was called Love You, Lord Law, or is called. Um, and I'm going to show you what I do. <laughs> That's the idea of a process video, I think. So anyway, what I've done here is um, started to emboss the background. I got the idea to use some of my gold embossing powder. It's just been kicking around for ages and it looks like soil. And even when I heat it up, I actually find it quite an ugly gold. So um, since that discovery of finding it a horrible plasticky gold, I then um, kind of did some extra texture on top of that, which you'll see. But I've also added glitter into my real stash of gold because it really is old and lumpy and... Yeah, how how can I say ugly in any other way? <laughs> it's just not, uh, it made me feel like I really need a mink in my life. Actually, I've got another solution up my sleeve. Anyway, so I'm just putting some triangles on the background. Um, and then I'm going to brush off just the edges to make them nice crisp triangles, even though hardly ever them, any of them are actually going to show. So in a way, I needn't have bothered. But at the point of preparing my background I didn't quite know what was going to show and what was going to be left open so now anyway I've heated it all up it's all embossed and now I'm adding some my only actual Heidi swap um, well as it's become affectionately known the Heidi shine and that's in my peach color and then I go over with some gold as well so I've pre-inked the whole layout um, and then I won't be doing that later I'll place sequins over the top of some of that at the very very end so this is laying down the foundation onto which I'll be placing the whole layout I haven't even shown you the pictures yet I am aware of that but they're coming so some texture paste in a couple of stencils that's a bit of kind of some rough lines that emulate the bark of a tree probably and then we've got the very um, straight lines and a bit thicker lines as well I actually decided at that point I wanted to cover the triangles a bit more fully because I really did dislike them anyway so now bringing out some of the paper I don't think I show what this paper is to you but hopefully by now you're fairly familiar with the fact that this is a pink paisley kit and that that's a grey wood grain need I say more really the picture that's number one is quite small and that's of Lorenz in one of those classic garden frames we'd been to well his nana had invited us to a church fair over in the rector's garden over in Morden and um, there was one of these frames and nana called me over because Lorenz was playing there with some of the props and things and she said oh, I don't suppose you'd mind just taking a picture would you he's just over there in the corner um, and so I walked right from the other side of the garden where I was doing bat the rat with Elias and uh, took some lovely little pictures of Lorenz well actually I wasn't so pleased with them they were just on my mobile phone and wasn't so chuffed with how they came out except that I've made it work by the ephemera of this beautiful kit and I'll tell you about that in a minute. Right now I'm layering the background in a bit of a frugal manner. I want to let some of that brown, um, oh, I can't even remember the name of that paper, the brown and then the polka dot which is the reverse of the brown to show in small kind of shards but um, without breaking too much into the big pieces that I still have left. That, th there actually were two pieces of that brown in the kit but I'm still being ever so frugal with it but I did just want to use the brown anyway to kind of give a another impression of a frame especially around the big picture where I've zoomed in so much that the frame has disappeared so I think it does that well and then I'm just going to layer this one with some scrap tissue paper um, to give it an extra bit of boost and dimension and texture all those lovely things that scrapbookers love on their pages. Well, I do anyway, that's for sure. Now, I haven't really thought too heavily about the final layout, but um, having done a little bit of pre-prep on this, um, you know, because when, when one is a guest designer, one tries ever so hard to get these things to look rather A-OK. -okay. So... Anyway, I knew the title was going to be Lord Law at the very least. So that's what you can see flashing up there on the wax paper. Uh, but before I lay that down, I think I was just working out the positioning actually. Uh, so I'm starting to commit the photographs, bear in mind some of the other elements that I had tried to plan in. So just making sure that's secured properly because it's quite a lot of layers of tissue using the wet glue as well as the adhesive. And, um, and I'm going to pop this one up with dimensional 
and please say I've fast forwarded this bit of video. I've done a really quick edit just for the sake of getting this one out tonight. Um, because of course tomorrow we have the reveal of the new guest designer on Like Forever and that's very exciting. Um, but I thought I'd better just at least try and roll out my five videos. Um, I did go on to make five extra layouts um, with this same collection. In fact, I've used the paper for some other stuff as well, mixed in with my kit. But anyway, I digress because now I am going to be using this. What was that called? Park Avenue? Oh, ever so sorry. I'm not much of a representative, am I really? I keep forgetting the paper names. Actually, at the very least, I think I do end up showing you this one. But in case you hadn't guessed what I'm up to, I'm fussy cutting, as it's become known for very many years. Um not a natural phrase for me. I'm cutting round all the little elements of flowers and the little berries that I'm going to be using to frame the bottom and the right of the picture. And of course I'm scooping out the flowers that I can also use the holes of. The hole as in WH hole of. <laughs> That'd be weird otherwise. Um, to lay it, scatter sort of around the edge of the, <laughs> the pictures as well. I'll do really apologise that my uh, voiceover is very disjointed tonight. I've done another one of these late night voiceovers. Um, that's what happens when you work full time. Well, I don't. I'm part time, but I've worked a long day today, everybody. Um, please bear with me. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, carrying on. Back to the layout. Um, so I'm obviously trying to perfect this fussy cut thing to make it look all right and then I've gone a bit too close to the flowers so I've drawn back in the black lines that were originally on the outlines uh, just to keep it all neat and the other thing I did did I mention that I've cut the berries out and they're going to kind of be interspersed through the texture paste and then that side where I'm just going around the yellow leaf I'll eventually cut up to the yellow leaf so that it doesn't look like it's see it looks a bit too wide on the outside and I wanted it to look a bit kind of like the leaf is overspilling. I, I don't know if I'm explaining myself particularly well but I just thought it would look kind of nicely designed if I just cut right up there and had that yellow leaf overhanging I think was the word I was looking for. So yeah I'm going kind of back and forth again and trimming off more bits just for the precision until I'm finally happy with the way I'm going to lay it down. And I've decided to draw around the outline as well of the grey with my black pen um, simply because there's already black and it's just to mimic the black that's already in the floral pieces and the leaves and, and so, what, so forth and to just tie it all in and I'm going to be outlining some of the other areas uh, <laughs> some of the other areas of the layout as well um, in due course. So that is where I'm going to be sticking this down I decided to put this onto some dimensional foam tape even though the picture is also one dimensional so that's double dimensional on the picture the big picture but I really actually did want some depth to this layout the embellishments themselves are all quite flat apart from the arrows which have the wood in them and they they have a little bit of relief but generally speaking these flowers that I'm cutting they're flat and all the ephemera are flat and the sequins are fairly flat. Well, I decided that I could take a bit of dimension in the actual photos and the paper dimension, the, the sorry, the paper layers. And that's exactly what I decided to do and made it all nice and puffy. And even then, looking at it now in the flesh, it still doesn't look extraordinarily, um, you know, thick in the album or anything like that. But I do think it gives it a lovely bit of 3D dimension so that flower, as you can imagine, is also on the foam, so that gives it double dimension lift as well. Really like that. And then I get the chance to tuck. I almost don't want to spill the beans, but I'm going to say now. So I'm going to get to tuck some other ephemera in behind the flowers as well, which are these gorgeous little foxes. The thing I particularly love about these foxes, apart from that foxes are kind of cute, not real ones. I hasten to add uh, they're horrible but these ones are really cute because they've got squinting eyes as well just like Lorenz and I think that it's one of those lovely design principles to kind of repeat something off the page 
um, and that's exactly what I feel like I've done. And the little fox is placed there partly because I wanted it over that side of the photo, but also it covers a little bruise on, Ali on Lorenz's arm. You can see there just a little bit of brown on his arm. He's always getting bashes and bruises all over his limbs. Poor little thing, the way he plays and runs around. And, you know, that's, he's just been a kid. Um, but I thought for the picture, whilst he's being the Lord, that that little fox could just cover him over. So the banner there that I've just made out of some of the paper, I just thought would finish that side off quite nicely. But one of the banners I think, although I'm trying to be frugal, um, was just a bit too short for my liking. So I've gone in and cut myself a nice long piece exactly to the size and width that I wanted. And then I outlined that in the black pen as well, like I said I would. And then on that I'm going to be putting the Lord Law part of the title but as you can see I've already laid up the ephemera piece that says love you so that forms the first part of the title so it's love you Lord Law. Now why Law you might be wondering well his name is Lorenz the first part of that is L-O-R and we sometimes jokingly call him Law anyway because you can't really I don't think it shortens particularly well um, I've never made any bones about the fact that I don't really like my name being shortened to Illy. People call it call me Illy, but oh, really, really great on me. But I, I'll respond to it now. I never used to as a kid, I'll tell you. I was really fussy about it. But Lorenz quite likes the thing of being give, given a pet name. And of course, it sounds quite good, the, the whole Lord Law. So final pieces there, the butterfly that came from the kit and some journaling. And it's very small um, journaling here because I didn't really think about where that was going to go. And it says... You waited like a true gentleman in the rector's garden frame, waiting for your picture to be taken. Suits you. And as you can see, I've also placed the wooden arrows, the, the cedar lane arrows, in kind of jaunty angles, uh, up and down, pointing at love you, but also to replicate a little bit the angles of the sticks that he's holding all over his face. Bless him. And then finally going around the outside border, I like the way that this textured paper makes it look like stitching. That's my own card stock, by the way, just a white piece of card with some faint texture. Anyway, really like that, looks a bit stitched. And then just some final sequins and that's about it. And well, it's been a real privilege to have been Light Forever's guest designer for the, the month of September and for the Acorn Avenue kit. And I hope you've enjoyed my layouts. There may be more to come. I certainly did do some more. Um, but anyway, enjoy the stills of this one for now, and I look forward to seeing you again soon for another process. Bye for now! Bye.